This video is going to show you a full mouth x-ray FMX at the dentist. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, let's watch a full mouth dental x-ray, also called an FMX. And before we get started, a quick shout out to the Teeth Talk Patreon and the YouTube members who support this channel. I love that you are part of this mission with me on spreading evidence-based dental health information. And having said that, let's talk. A full mouth x-ray is a series of periapicals, PAs, and bite wings, BWX, images to capture a full mouth picture of all areas and teeth in your mouth. And we'll talk more about the differences between PAs and bite wings as we go along in this video. Something to note that today's digital x-rays don't use nearly as much radiation as what traditional film x-rays did a couple decades ago, but even then they were still safe. Now they are just even safer. You can learn more about radiation in my dental x-ray video, which I will link in the description box below. Every clinician may take a full mouth series of images in their preferred order. There is no right or wrong order to take these photos. But what I tend to do is I take all of the front teeth first, also known as the anterior teeth, which as you can see, I've already started. I'm doing that now. There are three images on the top for the top teeth in the front and three images on the bottom for the lower teeth on the front. To visually see all of your anterior teeth from canine to K9, it is six anterior images in total. The reason why we, the dental clinicians, leave the room each time is because we take these x-rays all day long, every day, right? Whereas the patient, you, you're only taking the checkup x-rays once or twice a year. And in this case, the full mouth x-ray, it's generally only once every three to five years. Now back to the x-ray terminology I was using at the beginning, right? Now we are taking PAs, which are also known as periapicals. They allow us to see the entire root and area all around it, like to check for an abscess and the health of the tooth in general. So now that we're finishing up with the front teeth, the anterior teeth, we've now moved on to the back teeth, which are also known as the posterior teeth, where we take two in each quadrant, one for the molars and one for the premolars. You have four quadrants in your mouth, upper right, upper left, lower right, lower left. And that's what we're doing right now. We already changed out the rings to properly fit for the back teeth. Different types of holders may be used. It doesn't have to be the XCP rings like you see here. It can also be a snap array, which looks like this. Either way, most of the images that will be taken in an FMX are PAs, the periapicals. At the end, we'll talk more about bite wing x-rays, but right now we're doing the PAs, the posterior PAs. And as you can see, it's pretty repetitive. We take the image, leave the room, press the button, wait for it to load on the screen, reposition it for the next section and take the next one and repeat. So if you are someone who has any trouble with x-rays as the patient, if they are very uncomfortable for you, or you have a severe your gag reflux, I do have a video, which I will also link below with tips and tricks to help make your x-ray experience more pleasant. So now let's watch the remaining images of the posterior PAs be taken. And after we finish the PAs, we'll move on to the bite wings, which you will see at the end. Something to note, most FMX full mouth x-rays are about 18 images in total. So like I said, you have the six anteriors and then you have the eight posteriors. And then in just a second, we'll finish up this last x-ray here and then we'll We'll set up and talk about the bite wing x-rays. Here we are setting up for the bite wings. Right here we are using the XCP, the rings again, but sometimes they will also just use a tab without any of the rings. The bite wings are the ones that are usually taken routinely by themselves, but they are also included in this full mouth series that we're taking today. The bite wings specifically help to screen for cavities and tartar between the teeth, as well as help examine the level of the bone that holds your teeth in place. I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And thank you again to the YouTube members here and the Patreon members supporting this channel and supporting dental health awareness. If you want to join the fight in making sure evidence-based dental health information is being shared online, become part of our Teeth Talk community. The links to join are in the description box below. And until then, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth. <laughs>